Coming up, new drone rules are out. Find out what they say. Piper's new flagship gets certified, and the FAA grants a waiver for a flying car. Plus, it's summertime. Shine that airplane up with household products. AOK Live This Week begins in just a moment. It's been called the most sophisticated single-engine airplane ever. But to the people whose loved ones are alive today, it's called a lifesaver. The Cirrus Airframe Parachute System, only from Cirrus Aircraft. Hello and welcome to AOPA Live This Week. I'm Tom Haynes with Melissa Rudinger. The FAA has just made things easier for commercial drone operators. This week, the agency published the new Part 107 rules for small unmanned aircraft systems under 55 pounds. And the new rules include a lot of common sense things that AOPA pushed for, including a requirement that a current pilot under Part 61 would only need to take an online course to qualify for a remote pilot airman certificate. That relieves the burden of a pilot having to go to a testing center to go and take a knowledge test. That's right, there's a new airman certificate, remote pilot with small UAS rating. Non-pilots will have to take an FAA knowledge test to get the rating. AOPA also pushed to cap drone operations to 400 feet AGL or within 400 feet of a structure. And that change was to allow for a buffer zone between the GA aircraft that typically don't, don't go below 500 feet and the UAS operations. And that was something that U AOPA specifically uh, recommended and advocated for during the proposed rulemaking. Some other common sense rules, avoid manned aircraft, remain within line of sight of the operator, daylight operations only, and no flights over people not participating in the drone operation. Also, no ops in class B, C, D, or E airspace without ATC permission. The new rules go into effect 60 days after published in the Federal Register, and that should happen real soon. Read up on all the details on AOPA.org. And moving to much larger aircraft, Piper's new top-of-the-line M600 is now FAA certified. The new single-engine turboprop is well on its way to first delivery. The M600 seats six and will cruise at 260 knots and fly as far as 1,300 nautical miles. It will feature Garmin's G3000 touchscreen avionics suite. The M600 costs just over $2.8 million. The FAA also just granted two exemptions that could bring a flying car closer to reality. The TerraFusia transition received approval for maximum weight and stall speed that are beyond the normal light sport aircraft limits. This will allow the transition to be flown by a sport pilot and used for instruction by a sport CFI. The company says the ability to land and drive will allow pilots to keep the airplane at home or land and drive to their destination in bad weather. AOPA submitted comments in support of the approval. Well, the public got a chance to get up close to general aviation aircraft. The National Air and Space Museum's Udvar Hazy Center was host to many visiting aircraft. It was all part of the innovations in flight family day and outdoor aviation display over the weekend. You can see in this video provided by AOPA member Woody Diamond, a number of airplanes flew in for the event. This annual event always draws a crowd. Well, the FAA is easing restrictions on hangar use. The hangar use policy clarification could mean a better airport experience for some tenants. AOPA Live's Paul Harrop has the details. What does the FAA have to say about a space you've rented at the airport? Well, a lot less now. The biggest impact could be on home builders. If you're building a kit plane uh, or an amateur built aircraft, uh, you can build that aircraft at all stages in a hangar. Previously, all but final stages of completion were not considered aeronautical use. Under the new policy, aircraft that are in any state of repair or construction are covered. And yes, if your local airport sponsor allows it. You can have virtually anything in your hangar as long as it doesn't interfere with the intended use of the hangar, which is storage of aircraft and aeronautical and aeronautical items related to the aircraft. Paul Hirup, AOPA Live. Thanks, Paul. The new rules go into effect on July 1st, 2017. Coming up after the break, another program to get ADSB rebates. And making your airplane shine for the summer. We're watching AOPA Live this week.
Welcome back. You're watching AOPA Live this week. Well, as we record this, Solar Impulse 2 is still trekking across the Atlantic. The solar-powered airplane took off from New York on Monday for what is estimated to be a 72-hour flight. The destination? Seville, Spain. The Solar Impulse team is closing in on their final destination, Abu Dhabi. Well, it was a bit of a rough spot for Icon Aircraft, the maker of the amphibious A5 light sport aircraft earlier this year, you may remember. It put out a purchase agreement that had many in the aviation community up in arms. Well, now Icon has addressed some of the most controversial aspects of that agreement with a new version that does away with airframe life limits and caps required airframe inspection costs. The new version still requires company authorized flight training and maintenance, flight data recorders, and an agreement not to sue Icon unless the NTSB finds the company at fault for accidents. But it eliminates other restrictions, such as a 30-year airframe life limit, mandatory cockpit audio video recorders, transfer fees, and buyback provisions. Well, looking to equip with ADS-B out now? Free Flight Systems and Avidyne will give you 500 bucks if you equip now using certain models of their products. Those company rebates usurp the FAA rebate program that starts this fall. Meanwhile, Navworks has lowered the cost of one of its lowest price models by $200, which can be combined with the FAA $500 rebate. To learn more about the rebates and available ADSB technology, go to aopa.org slash ADSB. Controlled flight into terrain is a killer, and it's completely avoidable. The AOPA Air Safety Institute has a new video that will help arm you with the knowledge you need to stay safe. The Institute's George Perry says the video will look at tips and technologies that will help do away with these crashes. The common denominator around CFIT are usually a pilot flying VFR at night in hilly or mountainous terrain. And so that's sort of the high priority times where you got to be careful and also the technology, the low cost technology that's out there right now that can keep you safe. You can find the video at airsafetyinstitute.org slash safety videos slash CFIT. It was made possible by COPA and the Donner Foundation. We're less than a month away from the greatest aviation celebration. Not that anyone is counting, of course, but from July 25th through the 31st, the Wisconsin skies will be full of fun and excitement. This year features a celebration of 100 years of Boeing. They will also honor the 75th anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor. Some pretty cool airplanes are scheduled to appear, including the Martin Mars Water Bomber, which is an amazing airplane. Should be fun to see. Also honoring 25 years since Desert Storm. AOPA will be there with a large campus right on the flight line. Look for us by the iconic brown arches. See you there. Well, if you're headed to Oshkosh or any other fly in this summer, you want the airplane to look its best. You could spend a lot of money on products to make it shine, but Dave Hirschman says just look under your kitchen sink. Are bugs and scuff marks and dirt taking the shine off your ramp appeal? Never fear. Some simple household products can get your airplane looking great in no time. Summer means lots of smashed bugs on the leading edges, like here on Tom's Bonanza. Some Lemon Fresh Pledge will take it right off. Now, a, another great thing about the, the Pledge is that it works as well on the windows as it does on the leading edges. And your airplane will never smell better. Scuffs and grease can easily find their way onto your interior surfaces, but a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser takes them right off this glass air. Look at the dirt that has come off on that. Well, see, I wouldn't have thought. I thought all oh, my airplane's nice and clean. <laughs> and if all the climbing in to clean leaves footprints on your wing walk, leave that to the magic of scrubbing bubbles. Spray it on, let it sit, wipe it away. They do the work so you don't have to. With a little bit of elbow grease and a trip to the supply closet, your airplane can be ready for summer in minutes. Dave Hirschman, AOPA Live. Thanks, Dave. Had a photo mission last week where we smashed a lot of bugs and I appreciate you guys getting them off, all right? Well, that's gonna do it for this week of AOPA Live this week. I'm Tom Haynes. And I'm Melissa Rudinger. See you here next Thursday for another edition of AOPA Live This Week.